Hello my lovelies, welcome back to my channel. For those of you guys that are new, welcome. My name is Pinky and teaching you witchcraft and tarot is what I do. For those of you guys returning, welcome back my loves. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you guys can get notified of the most recent videos going up. And as promised, I know we are late on our monthly readings. I apologize for that. We have been extremely busy with spell work as well as personal consultations. So let's get into it. Let's see what you guys can expect for the month of July. For those of you guys that are interested in personal readings or any type of personalized spell work or any of our books or journals, you can find all of that on the description box below. All right, let's begin here. We're going to begin here with cancer as it is still cancer season. For those of you guys that are turning a birthday or uh, experiencing a return of the sun, brightest of blessings, my love, wishing you guys the very best. All right, let's get into it. Let's see. I call upon all my wise and loving spirit guides, spirits of light and love, ascended master, spirits of divination. Please step forward. Allow me to open up as a vessel of communication. Allow me to see, hear, sense, feel, and receive the messages loud and clearly. For all of the zodiac signs, we're going to begin here with Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Let's see what is unfolding for Cancer. Let's see what you guys can expect for this month of July 2024. Give us clarity. Give us insight. Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Let's see what's going on. If you guys don't follow my other social medias, I definitely encourage you guys to do as I am more proactive on there, on Instagram, as well as on Snapchat. I have created this bond with my Snapchat followers, so you guys can message me on there. You guys can shoot me any type of questions about the practice, about spell work, about anything really, and I will respond. And uh, my followers enjoy that I share you guys' questions make it uh, public so you guys can see that we acknowledge all of you guys. Thank you guys so much for the support. And if you are new, please hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you guys can get notified of the most recent videos going up. All right, here we go, Cancer. Let's see what you guys can expect for this month of July. Here we go. Cancer, we have the Ten of Pentacles. We have the Page of Cups. The Two of Pentacles, the Seven of Wands, the Ace of Wands. Wow, and the Ace of Cups, beautiful energy. And we also have here the Nine of Pentacles. All right, my loves. So what they're showing me is for a lot of you guys, this month is going to bring to you a lot of major new beginnings, okay? For some of you guys, this is elevating your statue. This is going up the ladder. This is making more money. More abundance and more financial stability coming through for you guys for this month of July 2024. If you guys are searching for a new job, a new position, now is the time to put it in because the results are going to be amazing. As you guys can see here, Nine of Pentacles, um, abundance, prosperity, being grateful, being thankful, beautiful energy here. I feel like there's a shift that's happening for some of you guys. Um, so what they're showing me here is if you've been struggling when it comes to your finances, almost feeling like you take two steps forward and then four steps backwards, that's no longer going to be the case and things are going to start to align for you guys in a very positive way. I also do see major momentum or a twist of event when it comes to love and romance. So if you guys were experiencing a bit of uncertainty in that connection, things are going to begin to progress in a very positive way. Things are going to open up and it's almost like you guys are revisiting a connection or situation or someone um, where perhaps in the past it almost felt like you guys were not on the same page. Things are going to quickly be moving forward in a very positive way. I do see two major beginnings here for you guys in regards to your career or in regards to your finances. And for others of you in regards to love and romance, if you guys have been single for quite a while, that is no longer going to be the case as I do see a person coming towards you and it's almost like they're revealing their feelings for you. So it can come very unexpected. Someone that perhaps you weren't even aware was crushing on you while others of you, it could be almost like an offering that is given of wanting to take it to the next level. So making it official is what they're saying. All right, my loves. So you guys have a lot of positive energy coming through for this month. Good for you, Cancer. All right, moving on. Let's see what's going on with Leo. Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. 
for the month of July 2024. Spirit Guides, what are the messages that we have here for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus? Let's see what you guys can expect for this month. By the way, how are you guys, how are you guys experiencing the Saturn retrograde? A lot of shift is happening. I'm seeing a lot of relationships come closer. Even um, I've been seeing with a lot of personal readings, uh, clients experiencing like friends getting closer to them, um, wanting to take a chance, wanting to, you know, gamble when it comes to love, right? That that situation of is it worth jeopardizing the friendship type of thing. So maybe some of you guys are experiencing those type of themes coming up. For others of you, it could be the ending of relationships or connections, things that are just not working out. They're being pushed out of you guys' lives. So I am interested in knowing how life is treating you guys. <laughs> Comment below and let me know. All right, Leo, here we go. We're beginning here with the full as it wanted to jump out. And what they're showing me here is that there is a new cycle that is beginning for a lot of you guys, um, a lot of you Leos. And what I'm seeing here is there is an opportunity that is coming to you that you may see almost as a risk, but they are telling you that, uh, you know, taking a risk, sometimes it's necessary. So try the best you can, Leo, to be more open minded um, in your approach for growth and advancement. OK, so what they're showing me here is, again, like I said, there is an opportunity that's coming to you. This could be relation or connection with your finances, with your career, with your job. Um, and I feel like for some of you guys, you're going to be very hesitant about taking this opportunity. It could be because you see it as a downside. So as an example, it could be that they tell you, hey, you know what, Leo, um, there is extra hours and uh, we we thought of you uh, and you may actually see it as an inconvenience. However, what Spirit is saying is definitely take that opportunity because I feel it's going to majorly open new doors for you. It could be that it puts you at the right place at the right time around the right people that are going to help you go up the up the ladder in your career. Now, for others of you, I do see there is uncertainties in regards to a connection or relationship. However, what they are showing me here is I feel like there is a turn of event that's going to unfold regarding your relationship or your partnership. OK, and though you may see it as a setback, I feel like you guys are being tested right now. And again, it's that Saturn in retrograde, right? It's like we're going to be tested in the aspect of is it something that has potential for something long term or is it something that is just becoming an inconvenience at this point in your life, Leo? So I feel like a lot of you guys are a bit frustrated when it comes to love and romance. However, things are going to start to quickly move in a very positive way that it's going to open up opportunities for you. Again, even if it feels like there is a setback that you're experiencing right now, um, it's almost like they're paving the way for something better for you. OK, so try the best you can not to resist the changes that are happening or being around you, Leo. And again, those opportunities that come to you that may feel like a disadvantage really go into it with a very positive and optimistic point of view or state of mind because it's going to make all the difference and whatever you think is an inconvenience actually becomes your biggest blessing leo so hope you pay close attention to that i almost pulled up the cards um and they're telling me to look at the bottom so we have the six of cups here and the six of cups is revisiting again like i said for some of you guys it's re revisiting a connection um for others of you it can indicate um, reconnecting to the past, or maybe for some of you guys, it could be that there was a recent reconnection with someone from the past. And you may see it as, like I said, like at that point in time, it could have been a setback. However, they are telling you to fully embrace the opportunities that are coming your way. Okay. Because it's almost like they're coming with, like I said, it, it's, it's almost giving me the feeling of like me saying, damn it, it's a disadvantage. But really, it isn't. It's it's a blessing that is hidden from you at this point in time. So fully embrace the opportunities that are coming your way. Whatever is not working, do not hold on to it. Let it slide, Leo. Because again, you don't want to block your blessings that are coming towards you, my loves. All right, moving on. Let's see what's going on here with... Give me one second. <clears throat> Give me one second.
All right, my love. Sorry, I was getting a text message from a client. All right, moving on here. Let's see what's going on with Virgo. Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for this month of July 2024. Let's see what my Virgos can expect. What is unfolding? What is coming towards them for this month of July 2024? Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Here we go. All right, Virgo, let's see what's going on. We have the Six of Wands, we have the Two of Cups, we have the Prince of Wands, the Prince of Pentacles, the Wheel, and the Nine of Pentacles. Very interesting. Okay, at the bottom of the deck, the Star card. Wow, you guys have major, major shakeups, major changes when it comes to love and romance. I do want to... Um, acknowledge here they're telling me with the wheel and the star card whatever is happening in your life right now Virgo wherever you feel like you don't have a lot of control over okay it's going to be very important for you to surrender at this point in time because the star card with the wheel is indicating to me that at this point in time it's almost like destiny is taking over okay so things are going to start to unfold for you in a correlation and in a way that you're going to be able to look back and realize that was God, that was your higher self, bringing to you all of these blessings that you have been very deserving of, okay? And one of the things that's really standing out to me is the Two of Cups. So when it comes to love, when it comes to romance, for a lot of you guys, maybe you've struggled, maybe you just haven't really found your footing when it comes to a connection or a partnership. And what Spirit is saying right now is, do not be surprised, Virgo, if in the next, and I, I'm not even talking about just July, I'm talking about for the next coming months, you start to be sought after. People are coming towards you, they're being drawn to you, they're coming and trying to get your attention and I feel like this is your tribe. These are people that are coming into your life to serve a purpose. And that purpose is to help you get to where you're meant to be, whether it's relationships, whether it's partnerships, whether it's career and finances, okay? All of these opportunities are going to be like, I see it back to back. It's almost like, like one blessing after another. And again, if there's been uncertainty when it comes to your romantic uh, department or relationships, there is someone in particular that is going to be standing out for you, Virgo. Um, and this person, I feel like for some of you guys, it could be a person that you knew from the past that you never thought that this person had feelings for you or that they viewed you in such regard that it's going to completely throw you off. Um, now, for others of you, this is a new connection that's coming in that is going to treat you like you've never been treated before. And it's going to make sense why it hasn't worked out in previous relationships. Now, for others of you that are in a relationship, there is going to be something that happens in your partner's life that is going to give them almost like this aha moment it's now or never what I'm hearing. So if you are dealing with a partner that maybe has commitment issues or in the past they've had difficulty committing or giving you any type of title, it's almost like something is gonna shift in them because there's going to be this fear of losing you and it's almost because they're being shown exactly who you are and your worthiness and what you deserve and it's going to propel them into stepping up even if they feel like they're not ready for that type of commitment okay so again if you've been trying to work out a relationship and it just seems like it, it's been forever right to get to a serious committed relationship i feel like this month and going into august you're going to be surprised with how stable your love life starts to become my loves okay because i see a lot of blessings all around you and again like i said they are highlighting a lot of attention for others of you you're going to be booming when it comes to your finances and your career people are going to be drawn to you people are going to come into your life that are unexpected that are going to help you grow and and what i'm seeing is for some of you guys it could be almost like 
a situation where someone gets fired, someone else in a higher up position has to step in and you're like dragging your feet because you're like, I don't know who this person is. I don't know how it's going to be dealing with them. And they come in and they're just so connected with you. They're so like they they just I don't know how to describe it. It's like they're so drawn to you that they're really going to help you elevate yourself. So again, right now, it's it's very important for you guys to pay attention to the people that are coming in in your life, Virgo, and the people that are going out of your life. Because the ones that are going out of your life are the ones that you need to let go of. And those that are coming in, I really want you to pay close attention because it's almost like they're literally going to bring with them experiences that are going to completely transform your life. All right, Virgo? Powerful, powerful energy here. All right, moving on. Let's see what's going on with Libra. Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the month of July 2024. You guys don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you guys can get notified of the most recent videos going up. Oh, we got cards flying out, Libra. All right, we have the lover's card here. Oh, we have the lover's card here. Okay, one more shuffle. All right, here we go. Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Crossroads and decisions, Libra. A lot of you guys are feeling a bit disappointed. For some of you guys, this could be in connection with a relationship or a partnership where someone perhaps was trying to show you that they were wanting some type of commitment and you could have recently been put in a position where you found out their deceit or their lies. Um, you do have the sun card here in the energy that is currently surrounding you. So there is a blessing through this situation, Libra. I feel like for some of you guys, it could have been that you found out that maybe your partner was like talking or communicating with other people. Um, for others of you, <coughs> excuse me, for others of you, it could have been that you felt like there is some type of deceit that's taking place right now. But what they're showing me here, Libra, is that there is a blessing that is coming through this setback. So I feel like it's not necessarily a disappointment. It's more of a setback. It's almost like a reevaluating where you're at right now and what it is that you want moving forward. It's for you to get clear on what it is that you want. If it is commitment that you're looking for, do not make like don't make any more exceptions. Do not allow them to not give you the commitment that you want or that you deserve regardless of whatever, like don't let them come into your life giving you nothing but excuses. At this point, you kind of have to hold people accountable for what they're doing and what they're saying. Are their actions matching their words? If it's not, then it's time for you to stop holding on for dear life and walk away from this. Why? Because only through walking away and choosing yourself, Libra, are you going to experience the true blessings that you deserve. You have the Ace of Pentacles here with the Emperor, which is structure. It is abundance. It is higher elevation of commitment. For others of you, this could be in regards to a career or your profession. It could be that in the workplace, you know, people keep dragging their feet about wanting to pay you more or about wanting to give you what you rightfully deserve. And you've been okay with that up until now. What Spirit is saying is no more settling. It's time for you to ask for what you deserve. And if they're not willing to you know, work with you, it's time that you start to branch out, Libra, because you got to push yourself right now. Ace of Pentacles, the Emperor, and the Sun card. There is, when it comes to stability, when it comes to finances, you will be able to attain what it is that you want, but it's only going to come through being honest with yourself and taking action. So stop relying on the universe. Stop relying on others to, you know, if your manager tells you, oh, I, you know, I give you my word that, the next review, we're going to, you know, we're going to increase your income or whatever, um, or give you the raise or whatever. Like if that person is not making it happen for you, go to the person that is higher or above them, Libra. Like stop allowing people to walk all over you or take advantage of you. Only through this are you going to be able to experience massive expansion, especially when we're talking about finances. Okay. All right. Moving on. Let's see what's going on with 
Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the month of July 2024. Let's see what's going on with Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the month of July 2024. Here we go, Scorpio. Let's see what's going on with you guys. All right. My Scorpios. Okay. We have the Ten of Pentacles. We have the Two of Pentacles. We have the Ace of Pentacles, the Double card, Four of Wands, the Six of Pentacles. Wow. And the World card amazing energy you guys okay scorpio off the bat what they're showing me here is massive expansion when it comes to your career and when it comes to your finances for some of you guys there is travel involved i do see you guys taking some type of trip um for others of you what they're showing me here is that uh, maybe there's going to be a change in the home so this could be you revamping your home for others of you it could be that you're actually moving um or that you are in the works of purchasing a home now if you've been in that process and it just hasn't you know pretty much fall through yet um it's definitely coming through and you will literally be getting the keys this month by the end of this month um what i'm seeing here is massive expansion there is a situation that is changing in your home life so again for some of you guys it could be that you're looking into moving for others of you it could be that you get a higher ranking position or a position with more pay but it is going to have something to do with like commuting or moving to a different city. And it's something that maybe you're currently trying to figure out. Definitely make the move, Scorpio. Um, it's time. It's time for you to elevate yourself. Whatever it is that you're currently experiencing in your life, uh, Scorpio, where there is a feeling like you need to make a decision about something that is going to bring change into your life. Now is the time to stop hesitating and do it wholeheartedly with blind faith because this is the time where I feel almost like they're showing me this clock like the, t the clock is ticking or has been ticking for you to grow. And I feel like in the past, maybe you've made excuses for this. Maybe you felt, you know, the fear of uncertainty. Maybe it's scary. Yes, change is always scary. But what they're telling you is now it's time to take the leap of faith. Why? Because it's time for you to expand. You've outgrown whatever it is in your life, whether it's career, whether it's finances, whether it's where you're living or the living situation. It's time to expand and, you know, put your wings out. It's time. It's time for you to expand and grow. It's time for you to experience a different. I see you almost like stepping into a higher timeline. So whatever new opportunities come your way, really take full advantage of them because it's going to be like a expansion and change back to back for a lot of you guys. Um, for some of you guys, you're getting the accolades that you so rightfully deserve in your career or in your position. It's almost like there is reputation that's coming to you and an opportunity that's coming to you from a higher up or someone that is in a higher ranking position because they see massive potential in you. So again, if you feel a little bit scared because of the uncertainty, it's okay, that's normal. Humans are not necessarily good with change, but it is time, okay? So whatever changes you're being pushed to do, now is the time to do so, Scorpio. All right, moving on here. Let's see what's going on with Sagittarius. Sun, moon, rising, Venus. Give me one second. All right, my love, sorry, I keep responding to clients that are texting. All right, here we go. Let's see what's going on with Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the month of July, 2024. Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Okay, one more shuffle. Here we go. Let's see what's going on with my lovely Saggies. All right, here we go. Let's see what's going on 
with you, Sagittarius. You have the Hermit card, the Six of Cups, the Seven of Wands, the Four of Cups, the Seven of Swords, and the Three of Pentacles. Bottom of the deck is the Empress card. Okay. Sagittarius, what I'm hearing is stop selling yourself short. Okay. Now, this could be in connection to relationships. This could be in connection to your career and your finances. It's time for you to up your price. So it's going to relate to you guys in a very different way. But for some of you, especially when we're talking about career and finances, if you're taking on more than you should, and at this point, like people are not really doing anything for you, meaning you're not getting paid for the extra work or you're not getting noticed for, you know, you're the one that is staying, you know, the latest and the one that gets there first before anyone. Like you're basically going unnoticed. The reason for it is because you're not demanding what you rightfully deserve. When we talk about relationships and partnerships, stop allowing people to breadcrumb you. Stop allowing people to blatantly lie in front of your face and you're like, okay, I'll keep that in mind that you just lied to me, but you don't really do anything about it, okay? You need to hold people accountable because only through this are you going to be able to go to the next cycle in your life where you're fully experiencing abundance and true authentic love. What they're showing me is that there is a cycle that keeps repeating in your life where you keep allowing people to push you, push you, push you, like push you all the way to like, you know, pretty much back you up in a corner. And you keep telling yourself, I am so tired of being taken advantage of, or I'm so tired of take, being taken for granted. I'm so tired of always having to sacrifice myself. Spirit is telling you, you don't have to sacrifice yourself. You don't. You need to stop making that a habit. You need to stop allowing people to think it's okay that they can, you know, mess with you and not have to deal with the consequences of that. If this is in a relationship or in a partnership where you feel like they're just breadcrumbing you, they're just wasting your time, you know it, but they keep coming back and you keep telling yourself, well, they keep coming back. It must mean no. You're okay. You're allowing them to be okay with only being temporarily in your life. You have to start treating yourself how you want other people to treat you, Sagittarius. This is going to be massive for this month of July. It's like however you allow people to treat you, that's what's going to be constantly, you know, surrounding you, that energy. Why? Keep in mind, we have Saturn in retrograde right now. We, we have to, it, it's kind of like Saturn is really testing us. Um, you keep saying that you don't like to be mistreated, but yet you keep allowing people to mistreat you. It's almost like this post that I made on Instagram a few days ago about red flags, right? And the thing about it is you knowing what a red flag, meaning what to, what to look for in a person and what not to look for. And the moment they show you that first red flag, you're out. And it's important to know that. Why? Because when it's almost like when you're able to pinpoint exactly what you don't want and you see that come up either in the character of the person or their behavior, whatever, you're not going to sit there and give them the opportunity to continuously keep letting you down. So what they're telling you is be clear about that. If you don't want to be taken advantage at work, start asking for more pay. Be unapologetic about what you want and stop apologizing. For some of you guys, I'm hearing, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Um, it could be that you express yourself and someone makes you feel like you're wrong for feeling that way and then you're quick to apologize. Like, no, stop doing that. Be unapologetic about what the fuck you stand for, Sagittarius. That's going to be crucial for this month. So do not be surprised if you're experiencing situations that put you in a position where you have to speak up because the moment that you experience that, just know you need to speak up, okay? Don't bite your tongue. 
because right now it is very important for you to stand your ground. All right, Sagittarius, moving on here. Let's see what's going on with Capricorn. Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the month of July 2024. Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Let's see what's going on with Cappies. Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the month of July 2024. If you guys are interested in any personal readings or any type of spell work or any of our journals or manifestation books, you can definitely click on the description box below. You'll be able to find all that information there. All right, Capricorn, we have the full card. We have the strength card. We have the queen of wands. Oh my God, a lot of fire. Princess of pentacles, the eight of pentacles, and the prince of pentacles. Wow, okay. And the five of wands, okay. Capricorn, what the heck is going on? People are fighting for your attention, Cappies. You guys are on fire or you will be on fire. <laughs> Okay, so what they're showing me is the full card with the strength card. There is almost like people are starting to take notice of you in a very different light. Something about you is really standing out. For some of you guys, it could have been that recently you went through some type of glow up. For others of you, you could have changed your regimen. Perhaps you're um, taking better care of yourself. There is a physical, actual transformation that is happening within you guys. With the Five of Wands, this is the energy that's currently influencing you. And the Five of Wands is competition. So again, with the Strength card right at the center, it's people fighting for your attention. People trying to get closer to you or wanting to get to know you better. For others of you, you're going to feel like there is pressure in the workplace. And the reason for this is because people are really like getting bothered at the fact that you're either standing out or that someone has taken notice of your work ethic and they're thinking or wanting to give you a higher position. And someone in your workplace could have heard or caught wind of that. I feel like they're really trying to compete with you, basically. So don't be surprised if you notice all of a sudden that there is you know, a coworker that's becoming a little bit more aggressive or they, it almost seems like they, they're trying to act like a know-it-all or like showy. The reason for it is because they're intimidated by you, Capricorn. But don't let that shit throw you off because I see you guys standing strong. I see you guys standing out and really stepping into your power. So kudos to you for that. Now, for others of you, I feel like the month of July and August is going to be very intense when we're talking about passion, desire, and love. I do see a lot of, you know, opportunities, a lot of suitors coming your way. Um, for some of you guys, we have the Prince or the Page of Pentacles with the Knight of Pentacles here. So for some of you guys, it could be people coming back from the past that perhaps, you know, they always had this massive crush on you or they always had this real like connection with you, but something just didn't pan out or it didn't come, you know, it didn't become anything. I feel like they're coming out of the woodwork right now and the reason for it is again keep in mind your ruler is in retrograde so it's almost like giving you guys a second opportunity or a second chance at something um that could potentially bring to you a lot of stability okay so don't be surprised if someone out of nowhere which by the way me as a capricorn i'm already experiencing this you guys um yeah like friends people that you've known in the past are coming back around and it's like you know professing you know crazy things like emotions that they had for you and they may openly tell you like certain things that you were like oh my god this person actually took notice back then it's crazy um that type of energy so again fully fully take full advantage of this because this is going to be massive when it comes to your finances and career as well you're being very magnetic right now people are being very naturally drawn to you and people are hearing you more than anything so if there's an opportunity for you to speak up, if there's an opportunity like in a meeting or something where, you know, usually managers will be like, do you have anything to say or whatever? Really take advantage of that because they are hearing you right now. So any ideas you may have or whatever, now is the time to really put yourself out there. Put yourself in the limelight. Don't don't shy away from it because I feel like the more you do that, the more empowered you're going to be and the more power is going to come to you through doing that. OK. All right, my loves, moving on here. Let's see what's going on with Aquarius. Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the month of July 2024. 
Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Let's see what's going on with my Aquarians. I have a lot of Aquarians friends, you guys. You guys are so fun, so weird, like us Capricorns. <laughs> All right, let's see what's going on with my Aquas. What are the messages for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the month of July 2024? Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Let's see what's going on with Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Here we go. Aquarius, let's see. Let's see what's going on with you guys. All right, we have the Princess of Cups, the Three of Swords, the Chariot, the Four of Wands, the Moon, the Queen of Swords. Your energy and the bottom of the deck, we have the Tower. Wow. Okay, Plutonian energy. Um, okay, so there is, you guys really have been challenged. I feel like there is a lot of things that are happening in your life right now, Aquarius, where you may feel like you don't have control over, and it could be very frustrating. It can feel even lonely sometimes. Um, because of all the responsibilities or all the pressure that you're really feeling right now. And again, it has a lot to do with the fact of, you know, Pluto being in your sign. Um, it went back into Cappy, but it's going to go back into your sign again. And it's, you know, with Pluto's energy, it's always massive transformation. It's almost like feeling like the rug's been pulled from underneath us. So there's a lot of changes that are happening around you. For some of you guys, you could have taken a few hits on an emotional level. For others of you, it could be like a living situation that completely turned around. Um, there's almost this feeling of like chaos, right? But what Spirit is telling you is that it's very important right now to believe in yourself, Aquarius. Do not doubt yourself. Do not doubt your capabilities and what you're really capable of because I feel like right now there is this uncertainty and the fear of uncertainty that is getting the best of you. So for some of you guys, you can be experiencing a lot of like anxiousness, a lot of restlessness. Perhaps you're not really sleeping. Um, and the reason for this is because this is, you know, massive energy that is currently influencing you right now. But the positive in this is that you will come out of this much more stronger and completely transformed keep in mind pluto always brings to us power and wealth so if you're struggling right now if you're having difficulties just know that things are going to start to line up for you where where you felt like there was blockages those blockages are going to be removed for some of you guys you're being challenged in the aspect of the goals and things that you're trying to pursue it may feel like it's not coming as easy or it's not coming as quickly. And the reason for this is because spirit really wants you to um, reassess, to really, you know, look at things. If you're signing paperwork, if you're doing contracts, really go through them. Make sure that, you know, you're basically counting all your ducks in a row. Um, and the reason for this is because Again, it's paying attention to detail when it comes to what's unfolding in your life right now. Again, the feeling of massive transformation is coming and it's currently surrounding you. So there is a fear attachment um, or I should say there's an attachment to fear right now because of all the changes that are happening. But this is going to bring to you much more stability, much more empowerment. So again, I really want to highlight the fact that I feel the month of July is that's if you're not already experiencing that, like being tested, you're going to feel a little bit insecure this month, but it's going to be very important for you to push through that. OK, because spirit wants you to step into your power. Do not doubt yourself. Do not allow people to get in your ear to tell you what you're capable or not capable of doing, because even if it may seem, you know, unreachable or unattainable to someone else that is their perception and their mentality let that not be yours okay you are unstoppable Aquarius and I feel like this month it's going to be the challenge here is going to be to believe in yourself and to not allow the noise surrounding you to affect your state of mind and to affect the goals and aspirations that you're currently pursuing all right my loves 
Moving on here, let's see what's going on with Pisces. Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Let's see what's going on with Pisces for the month of July 2024. Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. What is unfolding for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus? Oh, I just seen the Magician right now. Okay, for some of you guys, it's manifestations that are going to be unfolding for you. Something that you've been thinking about something that you've been like really holding on to and it could be potentially something to do with the past i feel like there is a manifestation or there is some type of materialization that comes this month for you guys okay so keep that in mind let's see what's going on here with pisces pisces sun moon rising venus all right pisces we have the four of cups the Eight of Wands, the Five of Swords, the Nine of Cups, the Sun card. Beautiful energy. Wow, the moon. And the Hierophant. Okay. Pisces. You guys have been experiencing a bit of setbacks. For some of you guys, you're being challenged right now. And the challenge here is to let go of your fears. So what they're showing me here with the hierophant for some of you guys it could be in relation to partnerships romantic love right for others of you it could be in regards to your career and your finances now with the hierophant here as a general energy the potential for ma massive stability is here it is up to you to decide what it is that you want and be clear on that with the four of cups and the eight of wands you could have quickly jumped into some type of you know, commitment or some type of um, some decision that you could have made recently that put you a bit in a pickle or maybe you jumped into a relationship too fast and you're realizing that it's not what you thought. So for some of you guys, you're being challenged. You're being challenged in the sense of you are where you're at because you chose whatever it is that you're experiencing right now, right? But everyone has the right to change their mind. Everyone has the right to not want it or to not want to be dealing with shit that you've outgrown already. And for some of you guys, it's almost like you're enslaving yourself or you're putting up with something that you know is not making you happy, but the responsibilities or you thinking of other people and how it's going to affect other people is what has you currently still going through it. But what Spirit is telling you is that it's going to be very crucial and very important to learn to choose yourself, Pisces. And I'm not just talking about relationships. I'm talking about in career and finances as well. Um, what they're showing me here with the Nine of Cups, the Sun, and the Moon. This is your energy right here with the Moon card, right? But... The sun and the moon is, they're opposites, right? It's the feminine and masculine energy, and it's the nine of cups. So there could have been, or there could be, something that is unfolding in your life right now, Pisces, that has a lot to do with your destiny, that has a lot to do with a soul tide or some type of soul connection. And it's coming to you through the experience or through the loss or through difficulties in a relationship that you're currently in. So let me make it more transparent. What I'm seeing is for some of you guys, you could have rushed into a relationship that is just not what you want. It's not what you thought it was going to be. For some of you guys, there could have been some type of deception. And you're being given the opportunity to have what you want, but you're holding back out of responsibility. And what Spirit is telling you here is we rarely get a second go or a second chance. And this is the universe telling you, Pisces, I'm willing to give you that second chance. What are you going to do about it? Are you going to sit there and complain how unhappy you are, but still deciding not to make any changes? Or are you going to take full ownership and decide that you are worthy and deserving of happiness. It's like almost like reaching for the stars and the universe is actually bringing you a star. What are you going to do with that? The star is a metaphor for your wish, your fulfillment. 
What is it that you're going to do? Are you going to take full advantage of it? Or are you going to continue sacrificing yourself, sacrificing your life, or sacrificing yourself being put in a position that you're very unhappy? So it's about taking ownership. It's about knowing what you deserve and having basically the balls to to make it happen. All right. I know that was a very direct message. Moving on here, let's see what's going on with Aries. Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. What is unfolding for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus? For the month of July 2024. Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Ooh, I just seen the Judgment and the Ace of Pentacles. Interesting. The Ace of Pentacles and the Ace of Cups. Love and money. <laughs> Both subjects that... Um... That are unfolding for you, Aries. Okay, let's see what's going on. Okay, here we go. Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Let's see what's going on. All right, Aries, we have the Ace of Wands, the Eight of Swords, the Two of Pentacles, the King of Wands, the Ten of Pentacles, the Queen of Cups, bottom of the deck, the Page of Pentacles. Okay, so there is communication that I see you wanting to have. For some of you guys, you could have be or you could be dealing with a situation where there was some type of misunderstanding um, and I feel like you are wanting, because I see a lot of anxiousness around you right now, Aries, like a desire to want to communicate, but the fear is holding you back. Okay. Now this doesn't have to be in relationships. This could be in general. This could be in your home life. This could be your career and finances. You're holding back when you really know that you want to express yourself, that you have something to say. And what spirit is telling you is that enough of the procrastination if you want changes if you want things to move to your benefit aries you need to take ownership and and, I, and i'm going to be honest you need to be emotionally mature to be able to fully be able to articulate and express yourself so that you can be able to attain whatever it is that you're wanting to make happen because i do see that happening for you however i feel like the fear of rejection or the fear of being judged is what's holding you back. Um, and again, it, it's almost like for some of you guys, you're just having difficulty expressing feelings. I'm going to be honest. I, I feel like for a lot of you guys, this is daunting. Um, there is this feeling of fear of rejection or fear of not being understood. But how can you be understood if you're not even trying to express yourself? Do you get what I'm saying? So again, this doesn't have to be in love and romance. This could be in your career. It could be, as an example, if they're doing a certain type of way and, and they've been taught that and it's just outdated and you have better ideas or you're more proactive or however you're doing it is better and it's more time saving, um, not as time consuming. It's time for you to believe in yourself, Aries, enough to speak up. Allow yourself to be heard. Because this is going to be the massive transformation that happens for you guys. Keep in mind, you have Chiron in your sign. So that's the, the wounded healer. So there is something that you're, you know, some of your fears that are being triggered right now. And I feel you like holding back, like not wanting to fully express yourself. But now is the time to express yourself. Because that's not only going to bring about change, but it's also going to give you the power that you need to be able to heal whatever fears you're carrying. And this, like I said, doesn't have to be in relationships, doesn't have to be career. This this could be as general when it comes to family and the family dynamic. Um, for some of you guys, it's healing certain traumas connected to mother figures. Um, but again, it's almost like this fear of being vulnerable because you relate or connect expressing yourself to vulnerability, but it's not vulnerable when you're expressing yourself, that is emotional intelligence. And I feel like you guys have that, but you have a tendency of holding back. It's almost giving me the energy of like when you 
want to say something, but you hold back because you're scared that it's going to come out wrong or that people are going to take it the wrong way. So you'd rather just not say nothing. And then by you not saying nothing, by you speaking up, it could have made all the difference. It could have made your bosses see you in a different light. It could have made um, those around you or your colleagues, you know, uh, admire you or see that you're definitely a leader. You, I mean, you were born to lead Aries. Um, if it comes to relationships, it could be a missed opportunity because you're holding back. All right, my loves. All right. So it's about expressing yourself and having the tenacity and the courage to speak up. All right, moving on here. Let's see what's going on with Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the month of July 2024. Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Let's see what's going on with my lovely Taurus for the month of July. Oh, we got cards flying out. We have the star card, beautiful energy here. Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Here we go. All right, we have the star card. We have, oof. Aquarius and Pluto, Death card, Seven of Wands, Three of Pentacles, Five of Wands, oof, 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 Taurus. Hang tight, my loves, because we have the full card here. Okay, there is, I see you guys chasing a dream or some type of aspiration that you've been really trying to manifest or really trying to make happen. And it's going to come at the cost or the expense of the old version of yourself. What do I mean by this? If right now you're experiencing like having fallouts with friends, people that you were really close to, and all of a sudden it's like you guys can't seem to get along or you feel like you're disconnected, like you're not really getting along with them or really seeing eye to eye. The reason for this is, is it's because... Those friends or those connections, for some of you guys, it could even be relationships. Those relationships are bound and tied to the old version of yourself. So this manifestation, this blessing, this massive change and transformation that's coming to your life, Taurus, is already like in your doorstep. But it's going to cost you people, situations, and circumstances that are no longer in alignment with where you're at right now at this point in time in your life. And for some of you guys, it could be rough because for some of you guys, it could be a relationship. Um, it could be a marriage that is coming to an end. It can be, uh, for others of you, it could be like getting that promotion you always dreamt of, but it's going to cost you commuting. And it's going to cost you a new beginning. Why? Because you're going to have to move to a different city. You're going to have to change a certain dynamic in your everyday life to be able to experience that. Whether you're ready or not, because it's already unfolding for you. Now, for others of you, I do see that you've been hoping or wanting to get clarity in regards to a relationship. You're going to be getting that clarity, perhaps not the way you would have wanted However, you're realizing that it's not, at this point in time, you're just not going to hold on to anything that you feel is holding you down or that is dragging you down. Because I see you guys cutting connections, ending relationships, because at this point in time, you've either had it or you know what you want and you know that you deserve better and you're being unapologetic about it. And I see this happening, again, not just in July, but I see it unfolding from July all the way to September. There's going to be a lot of momentum. There's going to be a lot of blessings coming your way. But through these blessings and opportunities, it's going to it's gonna cost you something. Um, a way of thinking for some of you guys, for others of you, it's, again, like I said, the people that you relate to or that you used to relate to, you're starting to feel like you no longer have a connection with them because they're not in sync with you. And sometimes we need to be reminded that it's okay to outgrow people. That's just the part of life and that's the way it is. And if it means that you stepping into a higher version of yourself, that you're more happy, that you're more empowered, 
that you're more in control of who you are and being your authentic self, then it's always worth it. So do not hold back Taurus because I see massive expansion and growth for you guys. A lot of transformation is happening, but again, keep it in mind that it's very important to, if you feel this month Taurus, like, like you kind of have to sacrifice or pretend to see or think a certain type of way that you no longer connect to, don't do it. Don't do it just so you don't offend that friend. Don't do it just to make other people around you comfortable. Like, don't, don't do it. Be authentically yourself and let whatever fall to the side that must, let it fall. Because do not stop for anyone or anything. For some of you guys, it's realizing that the person you're with is holding you back and you're asking the bigger questions. If this person is holding me back right now, how is it going to be when I'm like really, you know, living my dream? Are they going to want you to stay small? And are you willing to sacrifice yourself to make it or accommodate someone else or those around you? So it's the bigger questions that you're going to be asking yourself this month, Taurus. But like I said, always choose yourself, my love, because you know what? When it comes to expansion and growth, that's what we're here to do. And if the person that's with you is not encouraging you and instead they're trying to keep you small, then that's not your person. All right, my loves. All right, moving on here. Let's see what's going on with... Gemini, Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Let's see what is unfolding for my Geminis for this month of July 2024. If you guys are interested in any personal readings or any of the services that we provide, any of the books or journals, you can find all of that on the description box below. I highly encourage you guys to follow my other social medias, Instagram and Snapchat. We are very proactive on there. So, all right, my loves. Let's see what's going on with Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the month of July 2024. Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Here we go. All right, let's see what's going on with Gemini. All right, Gemini, we have the Princess of Pentacles, the Nine of Cups, the Eight of Cups, the, the Ten of Pentacles, the Devil card, and the Judgment card. Okay. The bottom of the deck, two of cups. Okay. Very interesting. What I'm being shown for you, Geminis, the two of cups is indicating to me that there is opportunities around you right now or that are going to be influencing you this month. For some of you guys, there is a specific connection that's coming through. Um, I'm hearing almost like the message that I just told to Taurus about it's going to cost you like a certain way of thinking or a certain way of seeing things. I'm seeing this unfold for you guys as well, though it's going to be very different. It, it's talking primarily when it comes to relationships and partnerships. So what I mean by this is that with the two of cups, I feel like there is a connection that's coming or for some of you guys, you're already in this connection but you're being challenged for some of you guys. It almost like it's almost giving me the energy like when someone's been single for so long and all of a sudden you start to deal with someone and then you realize, oh, crap, like I really have to make time for them. Um, I have to be considerate of their feelings or what they think about certain things. It's not just you. You know what? I feel like it. Let me get up and go type of energy. So it's going to cost you your old way of living or your old way of being. But do you want it? Do you get what I'm saying? Because I feel like for some of you guys, you've been single for quite a while. For others of you, um, even if you are currently in a connection, I feel like you're going to be tested. I'm not going to lie. And I feel like for some of you guys, it could be a new connection that comes while you are in a connection right now. Um, because the devil is here. So it's almost like you're hesitant about, should I walk away to embrace this new beginning or do, you know, I see you guys confused. I see you guys like not knowing what to do. Is it time to walk away from something that's not working? Should I embrace this new opportunity or do I not say anything and embrace this new opportunity? And then later on you fuck it up because you weren't being honest with them. Do you get what I'm saying? So again, it's 
it's almost like the universe is aligning you to certain blessings. But in those blessings, be honorable, Gemini, because if not, I feel like you will shit all over these opportunities that are coming your way. And you don't want to do that. Okay, it's kind of like the, you know, those posts on Instagram where it's like, uh, sometimes you do dirty the person that God sent your way as a blessing, that type of energy. So I really don't want you guys to drop the ball in not fully taking advantage of the opportunities that are presenting themselves to you because they are blessings. Um, but there is a certain habit or trait about yourself that you need to let go of. Now, for others of you, it could be, like I said, that you're dealing with someone in a connection and you're feeling like you're tempted to walk away only because they're becoming more of an inconvenience. I want you to really ask yourself, is it really an inconvenience or is it the fact that you're just so used to like doing whatever you want whenever you want instead of putting effort when it comes to relationships and partnerships? Because I see you guys being tempted and being tempted to go back to something that is toxic. I mean, I'd rather deal with the same devil because it's the devil I know versus like dealing with new devils type of thing. Um, but what they're telling you here is, again, if something's not working out in your life, whether it's a relationship, whether it's in your career and in your finances, whether it's people around you, friends, relatives, um, that are just not in your vibration anymore, Gemini, be courageous in walking away from that because I feel like there you have this habit of like self-sabotaging yourself. And it's, you know, the nine of cups is here with the 10 of cups. I mean, the 10 of pentacles, it's like wish fulfillment and blessings coming your way and financial stability, but you need to stop embracing an old habit or an old behavior that maybe you've created as a defense mechanism for some of you guys you have a tendency of pushing people away for others of you it could be that you know you've grown very comfortable either like disassociating whether it's through like um drugs alcohol that type of energy um it's time for you to really take ownership of your life gemini and the universe is here to tell you, I'm here to bring you the blessings that you deserve. But are you ready? And are you willing to embrace them? Or are you going to self-sabotage? And the bigger question here is, if you have done this in the past of self-sabotage, is it because you fear to actually experience happiness? Or is it because you fear that it's too good to be true, that you're just waiting for the other shoe to drop? And if that's the case, it's also a way of thinking that you need to change because you are worthy and you are deserving of happiness and it is here for you and for the taking. But stop holding yourself back out of fear or stop holding yourself back um, from the blessings because you're just comfortable and you just don't want to deal with change. Uh, at this point, what they're telling you is there is much of abundance and blessings coming your way that you are rightfully deserved. Um, but you have to believe it yourself in order to be able to experience that. All right, my loves. All right. All righty, my lovelies. I hope you guys enjoyed these readings. If you did like, share, comment, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and I will see you guys soon. Till then. Bye.